Luis King Kong Ortiz admits Anthony Joshua avoided him and says age ain't nothing but a number. He could still beat him even if he was 50. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work it. Now, Luis King Kong Ortiz put a W back in that win column, and that was on the undercard of Mikey Garcia versus Robert Easter Jr., a fight I covered. Had a great time in L.A. Now I'm in New York covering Premier Boxing Champs. Devin Alexander versus Andre Berto. Should be a good one. Luis Ortiz spoke with PBC. This is what he says, and I quote, I haven't thought about Anthony Joshua since he avoided me a while back, but it's a fight where you would see me enjoy beating the piss out of him for several rounds. I see myself breaking down Anthony Joshua to the body and ripping his head off with right hooks and straight lefts over the course of eight rounds. But at least Deontay Wilder put his money where his mouth is, stepped up, and fought me. I've got zero respect for Anthony Joshua, who at this point is a complete punk Hiding, be hiding behind his puppeteer promoter, Eddie Hearn. Wow. And then he responded to the people who criticized him not really being 38 or people say they don't know his true age because he defected from Cuba. Listen, I could be 50 years old and still beat these guys. They ain't better than me. If my age is such a big deal, why isn't Joshua calling me out? Why isn't Wilder giving me an immediate rematch? Why are all these punks running from me? Obviously, they don't want to fight and they're all scared of me. End quote. Now, I will disagree. I mean, you can't expect Wilder to give you an immediate rematch, especially if he's going to take care of mandatories, Dominic Brazil, have a lucrative fight with Tyson Fury. He already stopped you, so I disagree with that statement from Luis Ortiz. But... I told you the walls are closing in for Anthony Joshua. He he literally said at least Wilder stepped up. But as far as Joshua, I have zero respect for him because he hides behind his promoter. And that's not a good um, sentiment for people to have about you. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't care what people think. But I guess when it's the mass public and a lot of people feel this way, maybe it's something you should consider, right? Is if ever if you're getting if you never received all this negative energy from the crowd and fans and then all of a sudden you're getting it maybe it is based on something that you or your side has done but let me know what you guys think I do agree with Luis Ortiz that Joshua's side avoided a fight with him because he was the mandatory and they quickly fought Kubrat Pulev who pulled out and then it was Carlos Takam now they're fighting another mandatory instead of fighting Wilder they're fighting mandatory Alexander Povetkin so clearly don't have a problem handling obligations and, and mandatory statuses so if that's the case then why not fight Luis King Kong Ortiz when he was signed with Matchroom for a fight by fight basis and he was your mandatory around that time too you know it would have made all the sense of the world and it's a good fight and this is the great thing about boxing these guys are in the same weight class same genre of sports not like Anthony Joshua plays tennis and Luis Ortiz is a combat fighting um, athlete, you know what I mean? So if Joshua doesn't like these statements or wants to prove him wrong, then I would love to see the fight. It's a great fight. Let me know what you guys think. Who would win, Luis Ortiz? I think Ortiz would give Joshua a lot of problems. Southpaw status and just the way Joshua fights, the way Ortiz fights. I'm, I'm privileged that I got to see Ortiz's last performance. I've always wanted to cover one of his fights live, and I've actually executed that on my bucket list. So let me know what you guys think. What should be next for Luis Ortiz? I, I think it's beyond champions. I think other guys truly don't. And I can't say Wilder because he, he just fought you. You know what I mean? But as far as everyone who doesn't have Luis Ortiz on their bill, they need to be fighting him. Joseph Parker, Dillian White, Tyson Fury, right? Joe Joyce said he'll fight him, but not next. Like, why not next? You called out, I think, um, 
Brian Jennings or Gerald Miller or something next, why not Luis Ortiz next? You get what I'm saying? Because Joe Joyce is uh, training with Abel Sanchez now. And I think he's older because I think he stayed in the amateur circuit. So I think he's older for a fighter. So he should look to nab those big fights. Let me know what you guys think of Luis Ortiz. He said he'll beat the piss out of Joshua, 50 years old or not. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.